This lesson will demonstrate how to add your story and your image to the Classroom website. So go ahead and sign in to your Google account if you haven't already. Go ahead and select your drive in the upper right corner and locate your story in the Classroom folder. I'm going to open up a new tab and go to Kids Netsoft. Click on the Google icon and go to Classroom Site. Go ahead and click on the 6th and 7th grade tab and scroll down to the one page website online class. Once that's open, you click on the showcase page. Go ahead and select the class that you're in. So for example, if you're in quarter three, period five, you would click on that link. Now it might require a login. So there is the account, I will log in. If for some reason the pencil tool is not showing up in the upper right corner once you're logged in, you need to have your teacher invite you to this classroom website. So I have a pencil so I can edit. Now over here on the left, your name will appear. So for example, let's say your name is student eight. You would select that page and have editing privileges on that site. You're now going to go ahead and go to your Google Drive story. You will select that story. With that story selected, you can right click and choose copy or control C. Now before you paste it on this website, you need to go to Notepad. Notepad cleans up any garbage and it makes sure that the text is clean before you paste it. Otherwise, it will mess up the HTML. So go to the bottom left corner and type in Notepad. Open up Notepad and do Control V. With it pasted in Notepad, do Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then return to the website. Click on the pencil tool, select that text, and do Control V. You would then click in front of the first word of your story and choose the Insert Image option. Choose Upload Image and go to that folder that has your animal. That's on the Computer Class Switch Zoo Unit folder. There's the animal. I will choose OK. I will then click on that image. Choose M for Medium. Choose the Wrap option so the text wraps around the image. And then click Save. Now I missed a very important step. In web design, if you click on something, Notice the image, it opened in a new window. If I close that out, which many people do, the website is gone. So we need to do something really important. I'm gonna go back, I'm student eight. I'm gonna go back to edit, and I will click on that image. I will click on change, and choose open this link in a new window, and click OK. Now once I save it, and I click on the image, it opens in a new window. I close it, and my website is still there. This concludes the session on adding your story and your image to the Classroom website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.